Seems like we have a quorum, so I, I vote that we, we start our, our meeting. <laughs> and by meeting, I mean our Bonin Kai. So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining Portland Tycho's year-end Bonin Kai celebration. Uh, tonight we will be sharing new performance videos by Portland Tycho and our classes, uh, introducing the three newest members of Portland Tycho and previewing our artistic projects for the coming year. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this Zoom celebration will be recorded and a link will be posted on our website and social media so that others can view it through the month. Uh, so if you'd like, you can share or unshare your own video. And in fact, if you're having some streaming issues, if it seems a little laggy, um, you can um, unshare your video and that could help your connection. Uh, you can also rename yourself accordingly. If you have questions regarding any of these Zoom settings, please ask in the chat and we'll do our best to help. And now, first on our program, here is Keiko Araki and Dan Chin introducing our performance of Fusion. Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Keiko. And this piece that we're going to play is called Fusion. It was composed by Teresa Enrico. She was a former member of Portland Tycho for many years. And I really like this piece because it's got a really funky, groovy rhythm to it. Lots of rhythms, actually. And it's a lot different than our other pieces. And one of the things I really enjoy about this piece is it features the soloists a lot. And each soloist gets to play a th set of three different drums and each drum sounds really different and it allows the soloists to kind of explore the different sounds of each drum and then also interact with each other and kind of have a musical conversation. Hope you enjoy.
On behalf of the Board of Directors of Portland Tyco, welcome to our Bonenkai celebration. Even with the tough circumstances of the past year, Portland Tyco has persevered and have found ways to bring Tyco music to our community. I'm not musically inclined, but I have definitely felt the power and the force of Tyco drumming. The rhythms and the movements intrinsically invoke something within me. Whether watching a class of students or enjoying a live performance, Tyco music is uplifting and energizing. I'm honored to play a small part in the organization. This year, we were priv privileged to welcome Portland Tyco founders and por former performers, Zach Semke and Ann Ishimaru to our board. Even from afar, Ann and Zach have always supported and remain committed to the success of Portland Tyco. Working together, the board is able to take on various responsibilities and resolve problems both big and small. Of course, with concerns for safety, the opportunities and our ability to give live performances has been drastically reduced. Not only has it been discouraging for the performers who get motivation from a live audience, it is frankly very challenging for an organization that counts on income from income generated from paid performances. Prior to the pandemic, Portland High Co. may have averaged about 35 performances a year. But the times required an adjustment. Portland um, Tyco participated in some especially meaningful performances, both live and recorded videos, like rallies and vigils for the Asian Stop Asian Hate Movement, and they even hosted a live concert. However, the overall number of paid performances is significantly lower than previous years. To make up for this deficit and to ensure the financial safety of our nonprofit organization, we need your help. Tonight, we are asking you to make a donation to Portland Tyco. To encourage participation, members of the board offer you a challenge. Whatever you, amount you contribute, large or small, the board will double it. This means that if our audience raises $5,000, another $5,000 will be contributed by the board. In fact, this offer is being made for pledges up to $10,000. The performers are eager and their energy and talents are ready they're primed and pumped for entertaining again. Portland Tyco is ready to keep the beat of their drums resonating throughout our community. Every contribution made tonight will make a significant difference and will help Portland Tyco continue to fill, fulfill its mission. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Please enjoy tonight's Bonenkai. Now here is Wynn to talk about classes. Thank you, Carol. This year in the winter and spring, we held two online sessions of our workshops and classes. And at the very end of our spring classes, we invited our students to participate in an outdoor recital at the Oregon Buddhist Temple's park parking lot for our friends and family. In the fall, we returned to in-person, indoor workshops and classes with the help of three large room air purifiers, open windows, distanced, masked, and vaccinated. Now, I'm sure all of our students have enjoyed returning to actual taiko, actual drums, 
And tonight we're happy to present our class recital videos from the Naname Fundamentals and Beyond Basics classes. So first is our Naname Fundamentals class playing Renshu and Midare Matsuri.
Woohoo, great job to our Naname Fundamentals class. Next up is our Beyond Basics class performing Utsu Hachijo by Ondekoza and Isami Goma by Daihachi Oguchi of Osuba Daiko.
Thank you again for joining us for our seventh annual Boninkai celebration. At the beginning of 2021, everything for Portland Taiko was still online. We rehearsed, held meetings, and conducted our Taiko workshops and classes virtually. But starting in March, the group started performing outdoors and in person in response to the growing violence against Asian Americans. Portland Taiko's first performance was at the Stop Asian Hate Rally at Harrison Park. Later in the spring, Portland Taiko performed for the Rise Against Hate event at Lansu Chinese Garden and Joy Ruckus's I Hate to Be Hated online concert. In addition, we performed for Northwest Children's Theater, Partners in Diversity, and the National Conference of the Japanese American Citizens League. In the summer, we started practicing outdoors with the help of our Beyond Basics class, who taped tires into Practice Taiko, and Richard Koyama and his design for a hybrid Naname Beta stand for Tire Taiko. This allowed us to host in-person drumming for our spring classes and to prepare for in-person performances at TriMet's Streetcar Anniversary event, the four days of Aloha Festival, a summer free-for-all concert with the Portland Parks and Recreation, the grand return of the Oregon Symphony Waterfront concert, Joy comes in the morning at the Portland Playhouse, and a lecture and concert at Linfield University. Finally, we presented our own home concert at the South Grove in Oaks Park. This coming year, we are excited to perform once again for Mochitsuki, Salem Public Library, the Sherwood Center for the Arts, and Rise Against Hate. We are working with Portland Parks and Recreation to bring back our People of the Drum event at Gateway Discovery Park, and are planning for a special program in 2022 commemorating the 80th anniversary of the unjust incarceration of Japanese Americans during World War II. Before I end, I'd like to thank our students for their wonderful performances tonight, Jeff Hopper for his brilliant audio and video work, Michael Hale for his tireless efforts in our office, our volunteer trainee instructor, Keiko Araki, and our current Artistic Leadership Committee of Karen Tingey, Meredith Chan, Donovan Carrillo, Matthew Cortez, and Megumi Uehara. I'd also like to thank our Board of Directors, Co-Presidents Carolyn Saget and Lynn Grannon, Treasurer John Schumann, Secretary Mike Sweeney, and members Jenna Yokoyama, Karen Tingey, and Ishimaru, and Zach Semke. And of course, I'd like to thank all of you for your continued support of Portland Taiko. As Carolyn mentioned, tonight is a great time to donate because of the generous matching challenge of $10,000 set by our board of directors. With your support, Portland Taiko will perform, collaborate, teach, and affirm Asian American pride throughout our city and state and throughout the year. Donations can be made via donor box, PayPal, or checks, and all of these links can be found on our website, portlandtaiko.org. Thank you again for your support, and now it's my pleasure to introduce Karen and Toshki and Portland Taiko's performance of Changing Landscapes. Hi, I'm Toshki. And I'm Karen. And the next piece we're going to play for you is Changing Landscapes, composed by Masato Baba back in 2006. The piece represents different parts of Hawaii, such as volcano, mountain, jungle, grasslands, and ocean. And during this pandemic time, we spent time bringing back some of this old repertoire that we haven't played in a while, like Changing Landscapes. And some of us also took the time to pick up some, some new skills since we have a lot more time at home. For example, Dan and I worked on Fue uh, for this piece, Changing Landscapes, and it is gonna take us at least another year to get to where we want to be with playing the Fue, and probably about that long 
to repair the relationships with our family members who had to listen to us practice a lot. <laughs> but I really enjoyed working on this piece with Dan as it's one of my favorites. I think the last time I heard this piece was back in 2013 when I was just a trainee and the performing group played it. And I've been wanting to play it ever since just because it sounded so different compared to the other pieces that we were playing at the time. So I really hope you guys enjoy it.
It was so much fun to record changing landscapes. Um, recording Fue and Tycho together is not easy. So special thanks to my husband, Jeff, for being our audio recording engineer. Uh, we usually use Bonenkai to introduce any new members, and we are happy to announce that our three pandemic trainees have become fully fledged performers. We have been so lucky to have Toa, Karen, and Nick join us. All three of them came up through our classes and joined as trainees not that long before everything shut down. They have been steadfast in attending rehearsals and have contributed so much to performances and to the group, and you would not believe the amount of rep repertoire that they learned thanks in large part to Keiko running an extra rehearsal with them all year, first over Zoom and then outside in a park. I couldn't believe it the first time that we tried Taiko Kinesis together in person after a long time. And I think those three knew it better than the rest of us after we hadn't played it in so long. And so here they are to introduce themselves in this next video. Hi, Portland Tyco friends and family. I'm Karen Chu, and I joined Portland Tyco in January of 2020. This past year, I had a lot to be thankful for, including being able to return to outdoor practices on tire drums, uh, to eventually returning indoors to play on real drums, and performing at my first in-person fall concert. I'm extremely thankful that I discovered Portland Tyco when I moved here early 2019, because even during the height of the pandemic, Portland Tyco was something very steady and there was always rehearsals to look forward to. And most importantly, it was really nice to be a part of a close-knit community during such an isolating time. I think one of my favorite memories was playing at the Stop Asian Hate Rally, which was technically my first performance with Portland Tyco. Um, it was really nice to do something that I love in a context that's so meaningful, so I'm really happy to have that to look back on. Um, another fun fact was that 2019 Bonankai was actually my first Taiko performance, so um, I remember being just really nervous for that. Um, but anyway, I hope everyone has a safe rest of the year, and I look forward to meeting everyone in person someday. Hi, I'm Nick, and one of my favorite moments from this past year was when we transitioned as a group from having our rehearsals virtually over Zoom, which we did for more than a year, to once again being able to play in person at the Oregon Buddhist Temple. We made the most of our Zoom rehearsals, I think. It definitely has its challenges, but really there's nothing like being able to play together in person and experience that energy that comes from playing on actual drums together, or in our case, playing on used tires wrapped in packing tape. But now that we are playing on real drums together again in person, it makes me very thankful to be a part of such an amazing and talented group where we all speak the same language of taiko drumming. Hello, my name is Toa Suruki, and I am now a performer for Portland Taiko. My favorite memory actually for 2021 was when we first all got together and played taiko together outside. It was that magical feeling of that community, that feeling the drums, vibration, hearing your own drum and hearing all the sounds around you while you're playing. That was definitely the part that was missing during Zoom and it was just such a magical feeling to play together as a community again. Thank you so much for joining us, Karen, Nick, and Toa. We are so happy to welcome you to the group as full performers. And I feel just really fortunate that, that you were the trainees who joined us during this really challenging time. And in fact, all three of our newest trainees are part of our final Portland Taiko performance of the night, Tatsumaki, introduced by Meredith and Megumi. Hi, I'm Meredith. I am Megumi. I started playing taiko at Portland Taiko's youth group, and growing up, I remember watching our next piece, Tatsumaki by Hiroshi Tanaka. I love the energy and power that Portland Taiko brought to the stage, and I told myself one day I was going to play that piece. I'm so excited that I get to play it for you today. Yes, Tatsumaki is very energetic. It's technical, it's physical, it's really fun to play. When I found out that we get to learn to play, I was really excited, but at the same time, I was a bit fearful 
because we had to learn this over Zoom. And if you ever learn how to play taiko, especially choreography, you know it's not that easy in person, let alone Zoom. Um, and then over Zoom, we only have one mic uh, that can be turned on, so it was really hard to play as a group. When we finally came together to play in person, I was actually proud that we weren't that bad. <laughs> but after that, we practiced, practiced, practiced in person, and we're finally at the level that we can present this song, Tatsumaki, to you. So enjoy.
Thank you so much for attending our Bonen Kai, and thank you for your support of Portland Tycho. If you haven't had a chance to donate yet, our board match will remain in place for the month until we've reached our target of $10,000. So please visit our website, portlandtyco.org, and consider a donation. Thank you again. We hope you have a wonderful rest of 2021 and an even better 2022 for all of us. To end our Bonen Kai, uh, we'd like to invite you all to unmute. Now, we did this last year, but I guess that's how traditions are started. Uh, it's going to be a little chaotic, but we'd like to conclude with a clapping tejime. Uh, it's kind of like this communal group ending. <laughs> Uh, and that's going to be led by our performing member, Megumi. Megumi, take it away. We're not on video. <laughs> Fine, go. take it away. <laughs> uh, it's called uh, San San Nanabyoshi, which means like a seven, uh, three, three, seven clapping. No, we don't and want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to uh, end an event in celebratory manner. Um, so I'll show you the example and then we'll do it all together. And at the very end, we'll bow and say, Arigato gozaimashita, which is thank you very much. And so the, uh, it goes like this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just practice that, but eventually we'll do it three times. So let's practice just once. Okay, that speed. Uh, I'll say so, and then we all start. Okay, so, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty chaotic. <laughs> but we're like celebrating. So we'll do this three times. And then we say, Arigato gozaimashita. And this is how we end our wonderful 2021. And we're going to get ready for 2022. Okay? I'll say, so re. We'll start one, two, three. Okay? So re. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, come more. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Arigato. Congratulations, Portland Thank you, Megumi.